I want to do a quick video today of this new addition that I have to the studio. It is a Silhouette Cameo 4. It is a die cutter, very similar to the Cricut, if you're familiar with that. Uh, now I decided to buy one of these because I do like making these cutout vinyl stickers and when you order them online you usually have to order like a minimum and it started adding up so I decided to just make the investment in getting one of these and I could start making these die cut stickers as one-offs and in any color that I want and do a lot of experimentation and play with it and this will allow me to do that. Uh, so I originally wanted to make a video of this when I first got it. I actually recorded a few clips but it ended up being a huge fail so I wanted to get the hang of using it and do a very quick tutorial of how I make some of the stickers that I'm making since I have a few stickers that I want to make today. All right, so step one to using the silhouette to make your own stickers is getting the materials that you need. So in the Amazon package that we just got today, we've got a few different types of vinyl materials. So we picked up a rose gold holographic type of uh, material here and then a darker space gray kind of holographic material as well and then we also picked up a whole bunch of different colors in a variety pack so we've got a bunch of different stuff to work with here um, in case there's any ideas that I want to experiment with in uh, a variety of different colors so these are the materials a lot of different manufacturers make this they're not that expensive at all uh, a package with a bunch of these stickers is way cheaper than making a minimum order of 10 of whatever design from any of the companies that sell these um, to you if you just send them the designs so uh, that's the first step so we've got a bunch of stuff here to make our stickers with <laughs> So the next part of this process is going to be creating your designs. You're going to be able to use any design program that you wish as long as you're able to export those stickers that you want to create as PNGs. You're going to eventually need to install the Silhouette software and you'll be able to import those PNGs in there and send it out to the Silhouette to cut out. Now for my project, I'm creating a sticker for the handlebars of my new fixed gear bike. And I've come up with a bunch of different designs that I wanna try out. Like I said, the point of having the cutter here is that I could try and experiment with any ideas that I have. So I got a bunch of stuff here. I'm not sure which design is gonna be it, but I'm gonna try all of them out. And there's really a mixture here of, you know, fine, thin designs and also thick uh, cutout shapes. So. Uh, I'll be able to show you how I create uh, all these stickers and I'll be able to take you through a couple different techniques for the different types of intricate designs that you might be trying to print out with this printer. Alright, so here I am in my program. I am using Adobe Illustrator to create my sticker designs. I have them all separated out in their own individual artboards. And we're just going to do an export of this so that they all each individually get their own PNG file. So let's just export that. And here you go. You'll be able to see that each one of my potential sticker designs uh, are in their own PNG. Uh, and this is what you're going to end up sending over to the Silhouette program to be able to get your printer to cut these out. All right, next we're going to want to open up the Silhouette app, which is called Silhouette Studio. Now that we got that open up, it looks like we have our print area up here in a new document. Now let's just open up those individual PNGs uh, using the open option and highlight all of them. And it'll open up each one of these into its own separate file. Uh, we're going to be able to grab these and copy and paste them into a single file because we want all these designs to be cut out in a single go on one sheet. 
So I'm just going to simply highlight um, each one of these, these designs from their individual files and we're going to paste them all into a single document. All right, so all these designs are now in a single document and I could adjust these and it'll give you some inch dimensions so you could get this size exactly how you want. Uh, so I'm gonna do that right now. All right, so I've got all of my stickers laid out here and around some of them I have this rectangular box. So I'm just indicating that I want the uh, printer to cut this rectangle around them. You'll see in the next part how this is going to make it a little bit easier for me to weed out the negative space. And you'll notice I didn't put rectangles around these detailed designs. So for that, I'm going to be trying another method of weeding called reverse weeding. Uh, but like I said, I'll get into that in the next part of the process. All right, so as far as what color I want to use, I've got a lot of options here, but I'm going to be a little lame. And I think for this, I want to go with white. So let's use this white sheet. All right, so the silhouette comes with this cutting mat and you're gonna to wanna to use this while you could put the material directly into the cutter and cut directly off of that. I highly recommend using this. It comes with this sticky back, so you just basically stick the material onto this and you're gonna insert this whole thing into the printer. Now, the reason I recommend this is because you're gonna to wanna to use thicker pressures with the blade. And if you just have the material in there, in some cases it will end up shifting it while it is cutting, which is not what you want. So you're going to want to use this. Um, I found that using this reduces the amount of errors and fails you're going to have. Okay, so since my designs only really take up half of the usable workspace, I'm only going to use half of this sheet. So I'm just going to cut it in half. Now I'm going to take out this blue covering to reveal the sticky underneath, so I'm going to be able to stick my material onto here. And you're going to want to be careful here because some materials will bunch up, so you want to make sure it's fully stretched and you're laying it flat out and no bubbles uh, happen underneath here between the material and the adhesive. So just stretch that out along the sticky bottom. Also make sure your material doesn't have a plastic covering on it. Some materials they ship and have a protective layer of film on top of it and you don't want to have to cut through that. So just make sure it doesn't have any protective film on top. All right, moving along, the next step is gonna be loading it into the printer. So you're gonna to wanna to lay line up this mat uh, with the rollers. And once you believe it is in place, you're gonna to wanna to press this button, up button to feed it. In. So now it should have grabbed your mat and your material, and now it's ready to print. All right, now back to your computer in the Silhouette program where you have your stickers ready to go. In the very top right corner, there is a send button. Now it'll open up this tool box, which you could set all the settings for the cutter. Uh, and they have a bunch of presets here. So uh, based on your material, um, you could choose a preset. So right now I've got the vinyl glossy setting set and it's got a couple little options here and the reason why i'm using the mat like i said is because i want to use a little bit more pressure or force so normally i'll use the uh preset but i will increase the force a little bit so i'm going to put this up to 15. Uh, in my previous experience using some uh, other materials it didn't really cut all the way through the material so i really need to increase the force to make sure it gets all the way through uh, that way it's much easier to uh, peel out and do the weeding process all right, once you're ready to send it to the printer, very bottom of the screen, you'll have a send button. You could also run a test, and what the test does is it'll cut out a really small square into your material, and then you could see if that is really cutting through. Um, but I'm a little bit confident here, and I believe this is going to work, so I'm just going to immediately send it over to the printer to start cutting. <music> Alright, 
So when it is done printing, you want to hit that down button to get it to spit out. There you go. Now it is ready to start weeding. All right, you can now pull your vinyl off of the cutting mat. All right, so I'm just gonna cut off the section of the stickers that I plan to reverse weed to separate them from the other stickers. So I will do that one, the reverse weeding ones later. And I'll begin with these stickers. All right, so the whole next part of this process is called weeding. So just like you weed out the unwanted plants in your garden, you're gonna be weeding out the unwanted vinyl here from the sticker. So you're gonna basically be cutting it out and only leaving behind what you want as the sticker to put onto whatever it is that you wanna put it on. All right, so I have a few weeding tools here that I like to use. This tool right here is my favorite. It's kind of like tweezers with very sharp ends on it. This is a really important tool and I pretty much use this the most. Uh, now we have this other tool which has a hook on the end of it. I actually use the other side more, which is this flat side. So if some stuff is kind of coming out off of the surface, I'd like to use this to keep it down and press it down as I'm pulling with the tweezers. And lastly, it's an X-Acto knife. Um, just in case there's some stubborn ends that didn't get cut all the way through, you'd like to use this to finish off some of those cuts. All right, so this is a pretty time consuming part of the process, so I'm not gonna record the entire thing, but I'm just gonna explain what I'm about to do. I'm just gonna go into the cuts that were made by the printer and just kind of pull them apart a little bit. That way, when I pull out the unwanted vinyl, it won't also bring up the pieces that I actually want to stick and stay down uh, that I'm gonna actually use for the stickers. So I had just finished weeding these stickers and as you can see I kind of messed up two of them. It's a good thing that I printed out duplicates. The serif font was just really tough to do around the really thin edges so just beware of that. If you do have these types of cases, uh, try doing the reverse weed which we're going to get into in the next step. But as far as these ones that already have been weeded, next thing we're going to do is grab some transfer tape and we're going to stick them on top of these and cut them out and they'll be ready to use stickers. reverse weed. Uh, basically what the difference is here is you're going to do the transfer tape part first. So uh, on our detailed design we're going to stick the transfer paper on top of it and then we're going to do the weeding off of the transfer tape versus off of this material. Now the idea is that the transfer tape is a lot more stickier so it'll hold together all those really small pieces um, and be able to retain the integrity as you are kind of pulling uh, out the unwanted pieces of vinyl. 
Uh, so let's try that out. This is actually going to be my first time trying this out, so I don't know if this is going to be successful, but we basically got four tries on this sheet to get it right. Alright, here is that reverse weeded design. It took a long time. I don't recommend doing type this small. It's going to take you a long time to do that and it's going to be a little bit frustrating, but here we go. All the stickers are now done. It is now time to take these back and test them out on my bike. <laughs> 